Hello, welcome to Code Conversations. Today we're continuing our conversation with Nate McMaster and you're gonna show us some blow your mind MS Build stuff. Yeah, we're gonna talk about how to get really advanced extensibility into your MS Build project. Cool. So first I wanna give just a very brief intro into the basic concept. So if we look at some code here, I have a bare bones MS Build project file. It has one target and a couple tasks. A target is a series of steps that, ex that you execute, and a task is one of those steps. It's an action or a routine. Okay. So if I use MS Build on the console, it will invoke this MS Build target, which did a couple things. It wrote a couple lines to files, made a copy of that file, and then spat out some messages, right? All right. People who use MS Build are going to be familiar with these concepts, targets, and tasks. What they may not know, though, is that you can actually write your own tasks. Write lines to file and copy are tasks that are built into MS Build, but you can write your own. You actually write tasks in C Sharp. So I've written an example in this file. This is a task I'm calling zip. I it's gonna, guess what that does. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to take a directory and produce a zip with all of the files in it. Okay. It's not yet in MS Build. We're actually hoping to add it in future versions as a built-in. But until then, you have to write it yourself. Okay. So. This C-sharp inherits from um, an API called Microsoft.BuildUtilities.Task, not the system threading task. Uh -huh. And it has a main method called execute. And in here, like any C-sharp, you can write what you want and return a Boolean to say, did it succeed? So you're pulling, you can pull in NuGet packages or do whatever you need to do there? You can do some of that. There's uh, some slight, we'll show later how to use this with NuGet. OK, yeah. all right. So once I've written that, here's another file. There's a, an item in MS Build called using task where I say I want to add my own task called zip, and this is where to get the assembly file that contains the compiled C sharp. Okay. So if we go over to that, as expected, it produces a zip file for us. Ah, okay. That was really quick. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty fast. Now, the great thing about .NET is you can use C Sharp to debug things. You can use all of like the language, the class structures, all of that to organize your build tasks. And uh, I've, I've lost my point. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can do all your standard, like you can develop yeah. as a C Sharp developer, right? You can, you can develop as a C Sharp developer and plug it into your XML. So can you actually like set breakpoints in there and do those kinds of like debugging sorts yeah. of things? Yeah, okay. actually, that's one of the things I want to show is here's a breakpoint in ah. my C Sharp. Okay. I'm going to use VS Code to show this. Now, it doesn't attach right away, so I have to add a line to say, hey, hold up, wait until a debugger is attached. Okay. Once that's in, though, let's recompile. And launch MS Build again. Spit out the process ID. I can use attach to process. Let's see, process ID. There we go. Mm -hmm. Takes a little second to bootstrap. Once it does, we're in. <laughs> now we have access to all of the build settings, and we can step over, step through, figure out what's going on with our build task. Ah, wow, that's slick. Mm -hmm. Cool. <laughs> all right, should we wrap up with that? Yeah. All there right. We well, thanks a lot, Nate. We'll talk to you soon.